One local university is making personal protection equipment from scratch. Sean Gallagher shows us what the staff at Concordia University in Mequon is doing to reduce the shortage of protective gear at Children's Hospital. 3D printers here at Concordia University are working 24 hours a day to make protective masks for healthcare workers. All of this in an effort to combat the shortage of these masks and keep those healthcare workers on the front lines in the battle against coronavirus. Quietly, these 3D printing machines at Concordia University are creating life-saving masks. They'll print out about 70 a day, nearly 500 a week. It won't solve the mask shortage, but it's a start. We don't know if we have the perfect design, but we're just printing 24-7 because we just have to have something because I don't know when the tsunami is going to hit. Daniel Sem says they have 30 machines printing masks. They're experimenting with two different prototypes. He spoke with doctors and nurses at Children's Tuesday about what would best fit their needs. What they're planning to do, and they think it would work, is they would just keep reusing the mask. They'd sterilize it each day either with alcohol or, or with ozone or something. And then they would uh, uh, replace the filters in here each day. Just to make sure hospital workers can stay healthy to treat everyone else. And if you talk to anybody in healthcare, my niece is an oncologist, they're just so grateful because they're, they're worried. You know, there's, there's no protection. Children's Hospital says anyone with new and unused personal protective equipment can donate them at their corporate lobby. Daniel's hoping other folks with 3D printers follow their lead so medical staff and first responders don't have to do their jobs unprotected. But now we have a really important use that I, I hope are going to help save lives. Concordia University is asking people with 3D printers to register them online so they can be available to print masks. We have information on how you can do that at TMJ4.com. Just look for this story. In Mequon, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.